Hello fellow fragrance lovers. I have another unboxing from Notino today. And I've been doing so much shopping. I can't even remember what it is I got. So it's going to be really exciting. See what we have in here. Ooh, nice. Paris Hilton, Paris Hilton, <laughs> uh, 30 mils, and Lalique Amethyst, now these are blind buys guys, I was just reading about these, and Ciara Revlon, start off with this one, so this one was quite cheap because the box they said that the box is damaged and that it wasn't in cellophane so i was like yeah that's fine so i got it really really cheaply look at that one okay and then the paris hilton one i was watching a channel called soki london and she did a video about the paris hilton perfumes and I was curious, uh, especially for the price. I like the size, it's nice and small. And with amethyst, so this one is Lalik amethyst. And I'm gonna be honest I got this one because it's purple and I like purple and the bottle looks amazing oh, look at that right let's try these on for size So I got Paris Hilton, Paris Hilton, uh, first of all because I was watching Soki London and she actually did like a Paris Hilton, um, a Paris Hilton haul, sorry I just realized that my nail has smudged, very annoying, <laughs> um, but and I actually read some good things about her perfumes, they're supposed to be quite florally and quite light so i was like yeah well, i'm gonna try it and it was on special offer at notina so i got it really dead cheap and when i looked at the notes profile that kind of got me excited because it's got a uh, melon it has got melon apple peach freesia mimosa lily of the valley jasmine lily tuberose musk Ilang Ilang Sandalwood and Okmos. So this is my first Ilang Ilang perfume. I haven't tried any perfume that has got Ilang Ilang. Neither have I tried any perfume that has got Okmos as the base note, which I'm quite interested uh, to find out about because I've seen what Okmos looks like and I cannot believe that it is something that is used in perfumery. Okay, so because today I was wearing an eau de toilette which i only put on in the morning and i didn't get to refresh it i'm fragrance free so i'm gonna try it on my fingers so mm. so off the bottle it smells very very fresh and quite light 
So apparently this was Paris Hilton's first, uh, first ever perfume. Now, I have to admit that I used to be a bit snobbish when it came to Paris Hilton, so I never really took her seriously as a person because of there was that reality TV show that she did, which I didn't watch, but her reputation was just of being a celebrity thing. But yeah, it's quite fascinating, the uh, process that she's been through. But right, I'm going to try it on here. Oh, this is a really good atomizer. I found that it was quite easy to spray. All right. Uh huh. Mm hmm. It's a very fresh, uh, fruity, floral scent. I mean, it's very clean, like I've just come out of a shower. So for me, this is singing summer. It is saying um, very much that this is summer. So I feel like this actually smells like melon. This is, I'm, I'm definitely getting the melon, but it doesn't feel very strong, I have to say, just for the one spritz that I have done. I can see why this is possibly popular. It smells to me like it's quite inoffensive because it does smell pretty much like a lot of other perfumes out there. And I'm coming to learn that that is inoffensive and that's because other people are pretty much used to smelling those perfumes so they're less likely to be offended by them. Whereas when you get something that smells out of the ordinary, that might be a little bit tricky. But yeah, it's really lovely. Yes, I keep wanting to sniff myself. Okay, and for me, that's a little bit of a good sign as well. So I do think that this has got a uh, potential for being something that I like a lot. So this is Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton. So it's been a few minutes later, about 10 minutes since I sprayed it on. And it is quite pleasant smelling, I think. Uh, it's instantly transporting me to being in a picnic because of the very strong melon scent. I'm not familiar with Ylang Ylang outside of aromatherapy and essential oils, but I can't say that I'm picking up a lot of Ylang Ylang. But it's lovely. It's got a really nice freshness to it, and it's um, it definitely speaks a summer and picnics and gingham picnic blankets and biting into a nice crunchy cold melon. I don't know what the longevity is going to be on me, but I will report back about that. Up next is Lalique Amethyst. Now, I got this because I had been wearing a Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy and I loved Midnight Fantasy. It's a berry perfume, but there was just something missing uh, from it for me. To me, it smelled too much like a Herbal Essences shampoo and not so much of a perfume, so much as it felt like, you know, I just had a shampoo, uh, like I just shampooed. So I started looking at other perfumes that are considered to be similar to Midnight Fantasy and have got similar notes, and this one came up. So the top notes are black currant, blackberry, blueberry, and mulberry. So I've got all of the dark fruits covered, as well as big strawberry, which is the same top note for Rihanna's Rebel. The middle notes are pepper, peony, rose, and ylang ylang. And then the base notes are musk, woody notes, and bourbon vanilla. Um, so yeah, I'm going, I really like the bottle. If I may say, this is a very sophisticated looking bottle with the geometric and the embossing that it has over here. I mean, for the price that I paid for it, I can't believe that this bottle looks so good. And it's also purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors. So I'm going to spray it on here. Oh, oh nice atomizer. To, oh, wow. Oh, powdery. I got to say, just first... Uh, you know, the first blast of it, it's not like Midnight Fantasy. 
it's not sweet like midnight fantasy is like midnight fantasy is super super sweet so the other thing that i'm getting when i put my nose right close to the finger is this um herbalness like a, a certain green aromaticiness to it it's definitely a grown-up uh it's a grown-up scent unlike say the midnight fantasy which I just basically need to stop comparing it to because this is nothing like Midnight Fantasy. It's very soft. It's a very soft uh, fragrance. It doesn't feel like it's got the tartness. I would definitely not call it sweet. The mask is very subtle, which I think gives it its softness. Ten minutes later, ten minutes later, and I can definitely say that this is not a sweet fragrance at all. It makes me feel very mature. But I think it's the sort of fra fragrance that seems to develop and I need to try this on my skin and see how it develops over time for me and see what the dry down is going to be like in order for me to see where this is going to sit for me. But um, right off the bat, I feel like this is a very grown up fragrance. It's, it's very soft and alluring with a hint of sensuality to it. I definitely got some powderiness. Um, there was a berry blast at the beginning, but it is not sweet. And I know that because I like sweet fragrances and this is definitely not a sweet fragrance. But yeah, Amethyst from Lalique. So this one is Revlon Chiara and it says 100% strength on it. I bought this after reading an article on Fragrantica about 10 really great budget affordable perfumes because I'm kind of looking at getting affordable perfumes. And so I decided to try this again because it was being discounted uh, because of the damaged uh, box. So I think this cost me six pounds. So I was like, let's go. Oh, wow. I'm in my days. Definitely feminine, definitely musky. So this one is supposed to have uh, raspberry, neroli, bergamot, lemon, middle notes, uh, Brazilian rosewood, ylang-ylang, oris, jasmine, and palmarosa. The base notes are opoponax, incense, leather, vanilla, cedar, and musk. So it's got a lot going on. And you can get it right straight off the bat. So I'm trying it on my skin let's try you oh power power this speaks power there's a woodiness to it comfort it reminds me like comfort cream like balsam Touches of neroli, of the orange, the lemon, the citrusiness is coming through. It's a very strong woodiness to it. It's very rich, very rich, mature. I would definitely say that this is a mature fragrance. So this is five minutes later and I'm reminded of incense sticks, the burning of incense sticks. The, the the orange note at the beginning is completely gone. I think that this is definitely uh, worth trying. It's got a lot going on and it's got a lot of uh, complexities and it seems to be changing. It could be interesting, but for for seven for six pounds, um, I'm keen to see where this is going to take me. So that's Sierra by Revlon. Uh, these are the three perfumes that I got from Notino. These were really super budget perfumes. Out of the three so far, the one that I sort of kind of liked the most was the Paris Hilton because of its light melon note. It's still got the melon note going. And this is 30 minutes later. So it was quite lovely. This one, very ladylike, very mature, soft and alluring. Oh, the berry is beginning to come through now. Mm. I need to try this one. Yeah, the berry is beginning to come through. And then we've got the Sierra. 
It's very warm and spicy. Quite warm and spicy. I think that this would be suitable for winter. I'm definitely going to be trying this soon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed that. Please hit the subscribe button and follow along with my perfume madness. And until I see you again next time, guys, with another unboxing. Bye.